Breaking news, breaking news. Mauricio Pochettino is gone by mutual consent. And I don't believe that. I think he's been sacked. But a polite way to put it is to say we agreed to part ways. That is a polite way to, to say things. And right now, the internet is going crazy. It's been crazy since this morning, to be honest with you. And now it's even crazier because uh, Pochettino is gone, <laughs> pretty much. Am I sad about it? No. Am I happy about it? No. I was 50-50. I supported Mauricio Pochettino since the beginning of the season. And I switched my mind a little bit because he was not making any change and no progress. And then for the last five games, he started using common sense and I went back again. I wanted to give him the second year. But he didn't, uh, he didn't agree with the owners, so don't blame me. So I don't even know where to start. You see here from Fabrizio Romano, breaking news. Mauricio Pochettino and Chelsea part ways with immediate effect. Chelsea and Pochettino have already agreed on terms as reported by Matt Lowe. So Matt Lowe is the guy who broke the news, exclusive from him. And that's uh, game over for Pochettino. Let me know in the comment section down below um, what do you think about uh, Pochettino time a Chelsea football club and is is it the right thing to do to suck him right now everything is working good for him do you think this is the right thing to do I don't know I think it's very soon because he the players agree with him the player love him and I'm telling you right now that Conor Gallagher Trevor Chaluba all the academy product are gonna be sold he didn't want to sell those key players. So it's a mixed emotions for me. You know, I'm 50-50. So Chelsea confirmed that Mauricio Pochettino leaves the club with immediate effect, blah, blah, blah. Directors Lawrence Stewart and Paul Winstarley, on behalf of everyone at uh, Chelsea, would like to express our gratitude to Mauricio Pochettino, blah, 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 blah. It's uh, the normal PR stuff. And people, I want to apologize because of my voice, because my voice was gone for three days and I'm still kind of under the weather a little bit. My throat still sore, so my voice is just kind of messed up. And I, I try to clear my throat almost all the time. So getting better though. Very, very good. All right, so Mauricio Pochettino message to Chelsea fans. Thank you to Chelsea Ownership Group and Sporting Directors for the opportunity to be part of this football club, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the club is now well positioned to keep moving forward in the Premier League and the Europe. And in Europe, we don't know if it's going to be Europa League or Conference League in the year to come. Thank you so much, Pochettino. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to lose my sleep. Just because he's gone, I wanted him to stay. Everybody knows about it. I made more positive video, videos than negative ones. So I think he knows where he's going already. He's been contact, uh, contacted by uh, many clubs, Manchester United, Bayern Munich, and blah, blah. He's going to find a job. And Chelsea, we will continue. I've seen Ancelotti gone. Mauricio, uh, Mauricio Sarri. I've seen... Lampard, I've seen Mourinho, I've seen so many good managers leave Chelsea. So I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't feel anything to be honest with you. We are Chelsea Football Club. We're gonna be better. And uh, also, I wanted to tell you that I will be live on one of the channels. Stay tuned because I have to go live and give people the opportunity to talk so they can express themselves what is going on and how they feel about Mr. Mauricio Pochettino. Okay, let's continue. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
Thomas Tuko is in pole position at the moment. I don't know if this is pushed by the fans' agendas who want to see him back. Personally, I don't really see him back because he's not a project manager. He's not going to take crap. He's not going to develop those bunch of kids. If you complain about Mauricio Pochettino not using young people, and then how about Thomas Tuko? I don't think it's going to happen, but many sources from uh, from Germany and from Portugal and from everywhere pretty much are linking Thomas Tuko big return to Chelsea Football Club. And me, you know me, I am a fair man. I'm going to criticize fairly. I'm going to praise you fairly. The problem we have now is if you praise somebody that is not popular, people hate you. If you criticize somebody who is popular, you tell the truth about that person, people hate you. So you have to be kind of a cultist. Praise, 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 or hate, 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 hate. You can't find balance. You can't be in the middle. You know what I mean? So I think uh, the players are not going to be happy because they love him. He's very gentle. He's good with them. He doesn't push them to anything. But in high level of football, you don't need to make friends. If you want to win something, good guys don't win anything. And it looks like Mauricio Pochettino was happy to, to lose games and go to Wembley. Just, I went to Wembley. I went to Wembley. Chelsea just don't go to Wembley for nothing. They go to win. All right? So for him, an achievement for him is winning five games and then going to Wembley. What the heck? So Thomas Tuchel is pushing there. Chelsea have confirmed Mauricio Pochettino gone, blah, blah, blah. The same. So um, long-term admiration of Ruben Amorim. I want Ruben Amorim at Chelsea. If I have to choose somebody, my number one choice is going to be Ruben Amorim. What is going to be your number one choice, my friend? And like I told you, this video don't have any kind of structure. We go with the flow. Thomas Tuko, Ruben Amorim, and some other names been, you know, thrown out there. So, who is going to be your choice? But the problem is, we're going to restart this project from zero again. That's the problem. The project was okay at, at the end. And Pochettino started demanding his own players... When he signed for Chelsea, he knew that he was not going to have a say when it comes to, to signings. So changing your mind in the middle of your contract is kind of pushing people to suck you. I think he's been very smart here. Get a bunch of money from Chelsea and go sign for another club. He never connected with Chelsea fans anyways. So... I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel. You let me know what you feel right now. Okay, so the people that could replace Mr. Pochettino, all right? Sebastian Hornes, Girona Michael, whatever his name is, the last name, uh, Kirian Makina, Enzo Maresca. Enzo, wow. So Enzo would like to have another Enzo at Chelsea. Anyway, that is according to Matt Lowe. Be careful what you wish for. This is the same guy who led the campaign about Pochettino out, Pochettino out 24-7. Now pretending as if he's never said anything wrong about Pochettino and he wanted him to stay. I don't really like hypocrite people. You have to own it. It's okay to flip-flop in football if that makes sense football is about result put football is about today you can be mad today and say pochettino out but tomorrow you can also say keep him because he's improving that is football without insulting people you know uh club club chief uh, i believe to have contacted blah 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 my number one choice, I told you already, is Amorim. Bring Amorim in the, in the 
in the team but whoever even 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 uh big sam if you bring him at chelsea today i will support him because i don't have choice i don't have any choice and for people who think that i'm responsible for decisions at chelsea football club think again and i wish i had those decisions you know what i mean i'm just giving my opinion i have my likes and my dislikes i never disliked Pochettino like 100%, but I have to tell the truth. I don't have to praise, praise, praise all the time, but I never said, you know, attack, attacked his family or say he need to go or, you know, stuff like that. I always see both sides of the coins. I can criticize, I can be mad now, but the next minute I will use common sense and see the good side and the bad side. Not only the bad side. So right now it's really confusing. Who is right? Who is not right? We don't know. But I tell you right now, Conor Gallagher is leaving. Trevor Chaloba is leaving. Don't be surprised if other many academy products are going to leave because it's for profit. And Pochettino was against it. And I, I agree with Pochettino. You have to keep people like Gallagher and Chaloba in the team. But it is what it is. The club will continue. All right, man. It, it's all over the place now. Some players are disappointed to see Mauricio Pochettino go. Yeah, Cole Palmer really owns everything to Pochettino. And I wanted to say, don't get me wrong. We're going to struggle with the new manager. It's not going to be all rosy and champagne and party every single day. We're going to struggle. Hansi Flick is uh, interested in managing uh, manager's job at Chelsea Football Club. So you can tell he has so many, many uh links i don't mind hansi flick roberto de zerbi i i don't, i'm not sure i think the guy is not what people say that he is he took advantage of grampora's team and he got found out and he been just average all right so somebody built that team it's not your team so you can't take any credit. So Roberto De Zerbi is going to be like the last person on my list. I will go with Amorim. But I don't mind if you bring Thomas Tuko back. And he understands that he needs to give a chance to the youngsters. It's all good. All good, my friend.